Okay, so what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel again. In case you're new here, my name is Emmanuel Akama. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And please put on the notification bell so that you can't miss any of my, my video. Anyway guys, I'm coming live from this building here. Uh, actually, it's a significant building, you can see. It's a museum and uh, I wanna explore with you in. Let's go. Baby, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi guys, mm -hmm. my name is uh, Abdullah Said. Mm -hmm. I'm the curatorial assistant at the National Museums of Kenya, mm -hmm. based at the Malindi Museum. Mm -hmm. Currently, we are at the Malindi Cultural Complex, mm -hmm. which houses the main Malindi Museum. Mm -hmm. But uh, primarily Malindi, we have got uh, what we call it Malindi Historic Circuit, mm -hmm. which is an historic circuit that is based in Malindi. Yes. Malindi Historic Circuit, mm -hmm. it's uh, a combination of four sites. Mm -hmm. That is Malindi Cultural Complex, mm -hmm. uh, whereby it harbors the cultural information of all the coastal communities. Oh. We have got the the House of Kolam. Okay. It's another museum that mm -hmm. uh, is of marine component mm -hmm. as far as the heritage and culture is concerned. Mm -hmm. We have got the Portuguese chapel, the first Christian Catholic church mm -hmm. uh, within East and Central Africa, mm -hmm. as well as the Vasco da Gama monument, which is the last point among the Malindi historic mm -hmm. circuit. Mm -hmm. So Malindi cultural complex where we are standing now, mm -hmm. it was an administrative office of the colonial government, which was built on 1890. Mm -hmm. By the administration by, by the British uh, colonial government, mm -hmm. so the first district officer of that uh, of that regime mm -hmm. used to stay here, mm -hmm. and uh, he was called uh, Bell Smith. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the guy was assassinated within this area because mm -hmm. uh, the people of, of Malindi, the Arabs and the Mijikandas, uh, they were not happy with this installation here. Oh. That's why they used to attack the guys who were living here mm -hmm. using the front line of the ocean. Oh. Yeah, so one of the days mm -hmm. they unfortunately they succeeded and uh, they kill uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Bell Smith. Bell Smith who was there? Who was the DO oh. of the British uh, government. Okay. So the, the museum uh, mm -hmm. now harbors information about the Arab and Swahili, mm -hmm. the traditional information of Arab Swahili, mm -hmm. and then we've got what we call it underwater archaeological research. Mm -hmm. It's a research that was conducted along the East African coast mm -hmm. to ascertain the heritage that lies under the ocean bed. Mm -hmm. You know, according to the history, there's mm -hmm. some travelers who travel along this line, mm -hmm. and some of them, unfortunately, their ships capsized. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of treasure that lies under the ocean bed. Mm -hmm. That's why our underwater archaeological researchers mm -hmm. did this survey along our line and put some of the findings in our museum. Mm -hmm. Then upstairs we have got other two galleries, mm -hmm. one for the Mijikenda mm -hmm. and the other one for the, the Wida community. Mm -hmm. So this museum, it carries all the aspects, we call it ethnographic aspects mm -hmm. of the community communities along the coastal line. Mm -hmm. So enjoy yourself while visiting Malindi. Okay. Thank you. I see then there is a historic circuit. So guys, we have the Malindi Coastal Heritage Complex, which is this one here. And uh, we also have the House of Columns here. Let me show you House of Columns. Then the the Portuguese Chapel. Okay, this is visit the uh, yes built before 1542. And the last one, which is the Vasco da Gama pillar, which is mostly popular, uh, well known. Vasco da Gama. Oh, 
building 14 can you 14 yeah. 98 and 14 15 40s yes uh, the pillar uh, that stands was yeah. built on uh, 15 uh, 40s uh -huh. but the first pillar to be built within malindi was 1498 oh. but it, it was demolished okay yeah. the malindi historic site so this is the small information yeah, about the Vasco da Gama the pillar. Information about the pillar, the information about all the sites. Okay, guys, hope you are seeing this. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Oh. So, are you going inside? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fresh. This is also the National Museum of Kenya. The National Complex. Oh, okay. 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 Kind of dark here, the amazing wonders. Okay. Make a chilili or menza. Make a chilili or menza. The exact birth date of Makatilili. Mm -hmm. He was born in a family of four brothers. And one sister in the 1840s at Mutara wa Tsatsu, Ganze, Kilifi County. Mikatili spent her early days in Muriamaka. She married, but was later widowed. Okay, Mikatili was a charismatic leader and a lover. And she named the Giriyama against the British Muslim Tatum of Spain, otherwise, Giriyama of Spain. The territory and the list of Guillermo youth in the career corps. Her bravery and her are huge following. Let's hope you are seeing this. I'm trying to. She was arrested, forced to work in a social plantation after organizing a successful resistance. Later, she was taken to Kisi prison in April 20th, 1940, before long she escaped from British to renew the struggle. The British in their desperation blew up the car. Mekatili was captured again in August 1914 and taken back to Kisi prison. She was released in 1919 when the British when the British made peace with the Giriyama. Her rebellion lasted from 1913 to 1914 with the historical pact. She died in the 1920s at Photo shows to show you that in picture. Okay. <clears throat> mm. I don't know what is inside here, guys. Oh, let me show you. The green glass balls. Mm. Guys, hope you're seeing this sort of thing. <coughs> What's up, bro? Guys, I'm trying to give you a quick tour of this place here, this touristic place here.
Aside for the protection for the body and the spirit, Ile is a spirit for the sea. Guys, also have here an ivory. Oh. I see of the upstairs also. Let's let's continue to explore here. Oh. Wow. As you can see this. Guys, I'm trying to give you some real pictures here, and I hope you're enjoying my video. Let me show you around. Let's see the outside here. Wow, it's breathtaking. Oh. Guys, I've just been given here a receipt and uh, the great man here has something to say about the charges so yeah for you to visit what we call a marine historic circuit mm -hmm. uh, there's some uh, uh, clearance you have to get from the office mm -hmm. as in you have got uh, tickets for kenya citizen mm -hmm. which is 100 mm -hmm. we have got tickets for kenya residents mm -hmm. which is 400 mm -hmm. we have got tickets for a non-resident outside east africa mm -hmm. which is 500 so if you get that ticket, you can visit the whole Malindi historic circuit mm -hmm. right away from the Malindi cultural complex up to the far end of Vasco da Gama Pillar. Mm -hmm. So we do welcome all mm -hmm. visitors around the world. Sure guys, so up from here I'm going to visit either the Portuguese 
the Portuguese uh, chapel, the, yes, and the Vasco da Gama. See you there. Thank you. Hope you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> So guys, this is the street from the museum. We are heading to the Portuguese chapel. Hope you're subscribing to my channel, guys. <clears throat> so what's up, guys, again? I've just reached uh, the, the column house, and uh, there's a great man inside there who will tell us more about this place. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's see. No. The National Museum. Hey, bro. Yes, How are you? Santi. Please introduce yourself, man. Sir, my name is Mundir Bakari Omar. I'm a caretaker for Malindi Museum. So, Marut, do you have to offer for us today, man? Apa kuna i neto House of Colum. Nim jina ni Malindi Museum, but neto House of Colum because to kena pa inje to na kuna izi Colum. Oh, oh, these are the columns, you know. So these are the columns, guys, you know. So the columns are the main support of the building. Oh. So the second floor and third floor. Oh. So in the columns, you know, at least you know, the main support of the uh -huh. building. So uh -huh. that's why the house is called House of Columns. Oh. oh. The house, I, I could to me a cemetery, it's used the coral. No, let me go to coral stone. Coral, you know, only coral. Oh, and it's too big, you know. Yeah. Without the cement, yeah, without cement, and only the door, coral. Uh -huh. The door, oh. the door is Gujarati door style from the India. From the India. Yeah. And these doors are normal, are the most popular also in Lamb. Yeah, yeah, Lamb. So the main, the main door is from Omani style door. Omani style door. Oh. oh. Yeah, I can see, man. Oh, and this one also. Oh. Uh -huh. So one of the houses is back dated from 18th century. Yeah, it's used by the Gulam Hussein. This is a Bohora community. Mm -hmm. mm. Or you can oh. this house. Then the later mm -hmm. the house has been taken to the government. Oh. So the he and he knew by Jamaica as first Malindi East Hospital mm. before the government hospital was built. Before the government hospital. Yeah, yeah, so the this was one, the... the old, yeah. Oh. Then later it's become the office of the fisheries. Mm -hmm. so the government of the hospital, mm -hmm. the Katumika as uh, office of the fisheries. Oh. Then later it became the Kenya Wildlife Service. Oh. And it's uh, managed by the Dr. Liki, oh. the director of Kenya Wildlife Service. Oh. Then Dr. Liki handled this building to the museum mm. in 1989. Oh. So the museum of Kachukwe building in 1989, mm -hmm. for year renovation in 1989, okay. 2000, okay. 2002, yeah, 2002, and then 2003, okay. shooting the Kamalizita renovation. Then it came as first Malindi museum in 2004. And four. Yeah. But before that, there was a very strange at Shipapa Malindi in 2001. Mm -hmm. And one mm -hmm. before the museum was being opened. Oh. So kuna samaki and shikwapa malindi, mm -hmm. na bote nye ikwapa, kwa picture, mm -hmm. na kru wake. Oh. 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 Ini ni shark. Papa. Shark. Yeah, the, Papa, really yeah. mouth, um, the really mouth oh. of the shark. You can touch it. This is a very interesting story mm -hmm. about the fish. So when I bought it, it was MV Venture 2 together with 28 crews. As a how to these 28 crews and the head captain, wow, daily activity on the Kwanda Kuvua within Malindi Town, I mean Malindi Ocean, and also deeper ocean. And which year was this? This is was 2001. 2001. What? Very long ago, man. So these people they are used to go for fishing daily using this. Big net, Jarife, Jarife, Amanet, Amanyam. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, sure. 
Uh, so these people when they were fishing, wakapata mm-hmm. their net and they were very strong and very heavy. Mm-hmm. So when they pull up on the boat, so when they from the boat, from mm-hmm. the ocean to the boat, wakapata mm-hmm. kuna very strange fishing mm-hmm. in the net. Uh-huh. And it's very ugly, it's not, it's not like the normal fishing. The normal fishing. Mm-hmm. So they were discussing themselves, our samaki, our samaki, our tupe barini. But the head captain and it was Suleiman Lali insisted them was him to pay mm. because once they broke out in the uh, back in the ocean, hakuta kwa na story ya kuelezea huyo samaki. So wakaamua kumweka on the boat, wakampasua, then they got 17 eggs in the in the, the storm. <laughs> na wakampima huyo samaki, it was about 77 kg mm-hmm. and uh, ukubwa wa 170 cm. So I can greet themselves for sim to pay. Mm-hmm. So after fishing, mm-hmm. I can put up on the on the landing zone up on, on the jetty. Mm-hmm. So people they came to look at the fish. Came to when you are not samaki is very rare, it's very ugly. Mm-hmm. Then kuna Mr. Adwar, the officer of the fisheries, I can put up on one of the samaki. Mm-hmm. I can that this samaki is very rare to be found in the world. Oh. So I can say my you know very hard to catch. Mm-hmm. I can say mekana the first. Uh, samaki patikana, mm. it was caught in South Africa 1938. 1938. Uh, samaki equivalent to that one, a kaitwa kolikan. Mm. Ama kiswahili kisukuku. Kisukuku. Uh, so they found where well, the, the first kolikan was caught in, mm. in South Africa. South Africa. Uh, mm. 1938. Mm-hmm. So after that, the uh, officer of the shit kuja kumuona. Mm-hmm. Then how a kamua mm. kumpeleka mbele uh, samaki because kulikuwa na ile agriculture show in Mombasa. Mm. So akamo samaki mm-hmm. two days later mm-hmm. he bought kasafiri ikenda Mombasa. Mm-hmm. So akachukua hizo samaki nyingine mm-hmm. na huyo samaki pia wakamchukua akampeleka kwa agriculture show in Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Akaonyesha kwa display watu wakuja kumuona. Then after that by that time president kwa ni Moi mm-hmm. and Robert Mugabe as a guest of honor. Guest of honor. Mm-hmm. Sasa Moi akatoa ilani hiyo samaki ifadhiwe mm-hmm. because anaweza kuwa too happy mm-hmm. I'm a treasure of the Kenya. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's called mm-hmm. the history of the treasure of Kenya. Yeah, so Moi ndo akatoa ilani aifadhiwe mm. so the people came from Nairobi museum mm. kaja wakamweka kwenye cool store kama hifadhi mm. then akapele kwa Nairobi museum oh, okay. so tutaona hiyo picture ya hiyo moi mm. na hiyo place ya Mombasa mm. but they really fish you don't have here uh, oh, yeah, i know i understand yeah this museum is a picture uh-huh. and hiyo cast museum when you take it it's okay so can you make everything yeah so na tuko hizo picture mm-hmm. like i've said hiyo samaki chukua Mombasa kwa ngikacha show ndio mm-hmm. hapa sasa kilindini kilindini eh, Mombasa so these mm-hmm. are the fishes but unfortunately hiyo samaki mm-hmm. hatukumuona kwa picture maybe hiyo oh. picture ikupiga vizuri yeah. eh, but uh, the all ni kwamba mm-hmm. it's in on agriculture show in Mombasa which is done every year um, annually yeah. yeah understand it but araf moya ka to me mm-hmm. na aka declare that I'm a national treasure mm-hmm. then the people from Nairobi Nairobi museum they came to took the fish mm-hmm. and Oh, okay. <laughs> so now Robert Mugabe the oil mm. present more. Mm. Long time ago, guys, <laughs> hope you are seeing it. Very long time ago. So, so what? And this is the sea route whereby the boats. I mean, this boat mm-hmm. normally they go for fishing. For fishing from Mombasa, Tanzania or from Mombasa, Lamu, Malindi. Yeah. So this is the sea route. Oh. So guys, this is Tanzania. This is the access route to Mombasa then mm-hmm. Malindi mm-hmm. we also have the Sabaki river, yes, Sabaki river yeah. actually this river is more popular and it's mixed up with the fresh yeah, water and something like sure that. <laughs> then to Lamu mm-hmm. Tana river mm-hmm. up there is Somali mm-hmm. then the Indian ocean mm-hmm. wow mm-hmm. so here it's indicated that tukisha mkono wako ndani wa mwanya na uko pasi kwa pasi mwili wangu je mwili wangu ni mororo ama unakuwaruza so we, we didn't see the fish so anasema ukipitisha uh, mkono hapa uh, no you sense how the, roughness oh, or smoothness of the, the, of the, of the skin of oh, the fish okay. yeah. and here kuna wizani about it say the fish is about 77 kg mm-hmm. so kuna hii mizani mm-hmm. ukipanda if you above 77 kg hii mizani itakwangusha but unfortunately ile haribika so oh, maybe Maybe nataka mko kama kilo 50 bado na kwangu. Yeah, sure. Mm. So hapa kulikuwa na picha ya Suleiman Lali mm-hmm. and this is the coat okay. from Suleiman Lali. One day we caught in strange fish in Malindi. Mm-hmm. See, I've never seen before. Yeah. Yeah, they Malindi we caught a very strange fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. My crew thought that it was half fish, half gin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. This is Suleiman Lali. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, Mr. Duo. Mr. Duo. Charles Duo has never yeah. seen that fish oh, okay. before. And this is the quote from President Moi, former mm-hmm. President Moi. Mm-hmm. 
the court. For heaven's sake, please ensure that the, that this fish is kept from future. Yeah. Okay, sure. Well, and this is people from Nairobi. They mm -hmm. got a very unique gift from them, and from me and Malik. Mm -hmm. So museum we got a very mm -hmm. unique gift. Mm -hmm. When is we call it selfish or malin. Oh. Oh. Look at the mouth <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow. Oh. So the fish is here on the picture. Mm -hmm. After they have just caught from the ocean, mm -hmm. bring it here to the area that people can see. Yeah. Okay. Then after that it was it was being taken to the Robby. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. In dry fish, it's a white snapper fish. Oh, it's okay. a real fish. Oh, okay. Oh. In eggs, so normally they lay eggs between uh, eight, uh, 19 to 26 eggs. Oh. So we are particularly now 17 eggs. 17. Oh. This wow. is one of the eggs. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, in Arabic, you know, during yeah. the Corona session, museum is in So I cook on a well preserve, pre oh. preservation. You know. oh. So we really cast of the fish. Cast so the after fish. the fish was being taken to Nairobi, mm -hmm. and the museum was being opened, mm -hmm. so museum was being cast of cast of the, the colicat fish. Oh. For the presentation, mm. or to understand it. So this so, was the first colicant to be caught in mm -hmm. South Africa mm -hmm. in 1938. Mm -hmm. But it was smaller. We weighed 27 kilograms. We weighed mm -hmm. about 57 kilograms. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now your colicant and your chin is beside the dark rock. So you can come in habitation of the colicant. Oh. So, bro, thank you so much. Thank you for the information, <laughs> guys. I hope you have had something small from my my friend hey, here, Mundir Bakari Omar. Mundir Bakar Omar. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for the information. Something Personally, you know, I've, I've stayed here for almost uh, four years. Okay. But these places I've not, I haven't visited before. <laughs> you know, actually, this is my opportunity now. You know. You're lucky. Bro. Yeah, sure. Upstairs, the library. Oh, we have the upstairs? Yeah, it's a library, but it's closed. Oh, it's closed. And, uh, oh, okay, no problem, no problem. It's free, you can access. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome, you're most welcome. Thank you, thank Bring you. Bring more guests to visit the museum. I will. <laughs> okay. So, guys, I've just finished the, the four columns and the museum. I'm heading to Vasco da Gama. I read there the Portuguese chapel and I found the, it, uh, it, it has been closed. So I'm heading to the Vasco da Gama pillar and I hope you're enjoying my video. Please comment below, let me know what you think about this video. So guys, this is the access road to the Vasco da Gama Pill and you can see also there's um, some local business here that's supporting. You see, see some nice lessons, you know, some beautiful. You know. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Wow, wow. Hey bro. Fresh is Santi. So guys, this is a small history about the Vasco da Gama pillar I'm trying to show you here. Uh, I'm trying to show a little bit of history here. And there's some construction here, so let me Guys, this is how it looks here. We're heading to the pillar. Wow. 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 We are heading to the pillar. But unfortunately the the 
the, the Portuguese chapel has been closed but I think you can find the information maybe from your Google you know let me show you this place wow you can see right there Guys, I've just arrived at uh, Vasco de Gama Pila here. You can see. So nice, man. <laughs> this is the Vasco da Gama Pila. guys welcome again to my youtube channel actually it's five in the evening and i'm coming live from this pillar here it's a historical monu monument uh, it's called vasco da gama vasco da gama pillar and uh, this monument here historical monument it was built in 1498 by the by the portuguese named vasco da gama so the main idea to build this monument here it was to show an access route to the Portuguese who were sailing to to the India. You see? There. I don't know if you can see. Okay, so guys the the other before before I came here I went to the I started with the uh, with the National Museum, then the uh, the columns, then uh, Portuguese chapel was closed, so I decided to come direct to the Vasco da Gama pillar. But uh, you can visit this place at a zero budget. I can assure you at a zero budget. Uh, I've just paid uh, one dollar, which is hundred shillings. I've given up the receipt, the, the, the receipt which I've used to the, to the national uh, national museum, to the column, and uh, again I had to use it at the at the Portuguese chapel but it was closed and uh, the last point was uh, Vasco da Gama but I hope you've enjoyed my video subscribe to the channel if you are new here my name is Manuel Akama and if you're my returning subscriber who always come back to watch my video thank you so much for coming back to watch my video ciao